Alright y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great weekend. We are looking at another ambulance response point of view video, okay? This is a Polish ambulance driver dash cam EMS response to a heart attack. So it's pretty scary stuff. Obviously, they're going to be in a hurry. Let's see the scenery and let's see how they navigate these roads and how traffic behaves. We even have a speedometer in uh, kilometers per hour, of course, in the bottom left. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is from a channel called Wally. So make sure to check them out. It's being linked in the description down below. So you can watch a whole video uninterrupted and check their channel out further. Here we go. Nice uh, train right in the middle, or tram. Tram or train, I don't know. <laughs> Look cool though. Beautiful sunny day, blue skies. Dang, he is up to speed quick. Full lights and sirens, although we can't really see the lights. Uh, the sirens are definitely full on. Ooh. That, that was weird, that sign. In the middle of the road there. What are these about? Anyone know... Oh, maybe was there some sort of road construction? Uh, I'm not sure what those are about. Anyone want to weigh in on those? They, they were facing away from us, so I can't see what it said. Pretty clean run so far. It's carrying a good rate of speed, considering these are city streets. I like how the intersections have these yellow lines. They're really um, visible. They're actually kind of nice rather than a total like whiteout, right? Uh, you can really see them as you come up here. So I actually kind of like that. That's a first for me I've seen. Kind of cool arrow design, right? You have like the white crosswalks. Get all the cars parked on the side. A lot of hatchbacks. <laughs> a lot of vans. Okay, the audio cuts out sometimes. Just uh, note that. Yeah, a lot of SUVs, hatchbacks, and vans. That's funny. A severe lack of huge pickup trucks. <laughs> As in pretty much all videos throughout Europe uh, compared to my experience here in the U.S. We can see in this uh, added cam here, I believe it looks like a Fiat uh, unit, ambulance unit. So that's pretty interesting. I have no idea what we're working with for an engine. Is this thing a manual transmission? No way is an ambulance a manual. It is. Oh my god. Oh, that is so cool. I actually feel like that required... Wow, I have even more respect. As I interrupt myself there. I have even more respect for these ambulance drivers now. Driving through traffic, driving through these narrow streets. There's cars parked everywhere. Sometimes there's people crossing, pedestrians, right? And they're going somewhere in a hurry to potentially save someone's life. Uh, and <laughs> driving an ambulance is hard enough in these situations. And that's with an automatic. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Uh, I can definitely say our ambulances are not manuals here. Big shocker, right? In, in the United States. They're definitely all automatic. I almost feel like as someone who does love manual transmissions, and, uh, you know, I, I you know kind of hate like a lot of hardcore car guys in America hate uh, that we have a big lack of manuals. They're hard to find compared to places throughout Europe where they're readily available. Even though I am, uh, you know, a stick shift fan, right? Uh, I do think that a stick shift or a manual transmission um, ambulance is a little hardcore. It's actually cool, but in the heat of the moment, I think I'd almost rather have an automatic with this kind of scenario. Uh, I don't know, pretty crazy. Uh, very interesting to see that, him shifting. So, much respect to these EMS responders, especially when you have to be safe, run those lights and sirens, and, and watch out. Uh, you got to get places quick while being safe, and you got to control the gears. I mean, that's just a whole nother element. Something fell. Although, this driver seems... Uh, Pretty calm and collected, though. They know what they're doing, clearly. That's just a whole nother 
perspective I never thought of that these could have been manuals and it is for sure. <laughs> so it's a Fiat ambulance with a manual. I wonder if it's got like a um, diesel or maybe like a four cylinder. I'm not really sure if it's gas or diesel. I would think like a four cylinder diesel, but I don't know. Maybe it's got a V6 gasser. He's getting up to speed now. 100 kilometers per hour, so that's pretty pretty fast. That's about 60 miles per hour. At least he's on a little bit more of an open road. We have three straight lanes, two turn lanes, so it's pretty wide. He's cooking 121 kilometers per hour. Wow. Got some downshifts. He had to slow way down. Dang, <laughs> it's just a hell of an experience. And this is on the way back to the hospital. Jeez, obviously time is of the essence though, right? These ambulances for sure put in work, right? They take a beating, <laughs> you could say that. Um, I, I obviously, I, oh, look, he has to pull in this enclosed ambulance drop off. That's kind of, kind of neat. Usually it's like an open-ended, like it has a top at our hospitals, but it would be open-ended on, on like the side, right? So it'd just be like an awning and they pull under there. This is uh, pretty interesting actually. Although I do like how it's a little more private as well. Wow, that was a hell of a run, bravo. To that crew, bravo to that driver. That was a look at a Polish ambulance driver dash cam EMS response. That was really well done. Great video. Uh, I like the speedometer and the uh, cam over here where you can see the driver, the steering wheel action, the shifting action. Very cool. I learned something new. I didn't know that these were manual transmissions, some of these ambulances. So that is like a whole nother level of skill that I have uh, super respect for. And again, I like discovering, you know, uh, a bunch of different areas. So I'm not actually sure what city or town this was, but we know it's in Poland and uh, it was pretty. It was a beautiful day. It had uh, really nice streets. I like their lane markings and the, the yellow arrows and stuff like that. Those little details I thought were pretty cool. They had cool intersections, uh, which I'm sure a lot of places in Europe have had where you know you pull like kind of to the left and go in the middle and then you can go to like a lot it's kind of like a different sort of intersection that i'm used to here where we have just our typical four ways uh so yeah little details like that are always fun to watch uh looks like a pretty place as always leave your thoughts in the comments down below and of course your video suggestions i absolutely love this, this is one of my favorite series on this channel the emergency vehicles the ambulance responses these pov videos i think they're just fascinating for a lot of different reasons so uh throw a thumbs up on there if you did enjoy this subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here my name is ian you're watching 9w rocker and until next time y'all stay safe out there i'll catch you later